Yeah, so anyway, that's when I started. Oh, hey guys, sorry we didn't see you there. <laughs> My name's Tom. I'm Shane. I'm Malachi. This is Third Street Reactions, and we are back with Archer, Season 4, Episode 6. Hey, wait a minute, where's Jamie? Jamie, Jamie where's your... I don't know. What happened last time? Okay, guys. So as you can see, we're without Jamie. There were some scheduling issues. He was not able to be here to film. So he will catch up next time. Mm. So quick recap of the last episode. Devious Archer. So for all of his flaws, he's a very intelligent human being. Yep. And he hatches this plot. He's well read. He's, he well, he's well read. About really random, yeah. strange, interesting facts. And he's always, because he, he's always chastising a lot of, read a book. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, uh, he's like, he's like, um, what's his name? James Bond, but like comic version, you know? Yeah, he is. You're right. He like, is. Because yeah. he acts like a, you know, a bad warden, but he's also... Yeah, yeah. he acts kind of like an a-hole, but a D. he... A D. Yeah, a D. Yeah. 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 But, um, but he's also really great with women, and he can, you know, easily get who he wants, when he wants. And, Normally. He can't and, always get, well, I don't know. Like, and on a job, he, he's a, you know, he's an agent, like, on the field, like... Like on the actual field, mm -hmm. he can easily execute what he has to do. Yeah, you're right. He's even if it he, has to, you know, touch a third. He's a really highly skilled agent most of the time. Sometimes, like I said, he'll do something stupid. They all will. That's There's why always, it's funny. Always, say, always office goes in his way. Like thirteen, like thirteen year olds. You know, the one girl. No, she was sixteen, fifteen. 15, okay. she's from Russia, she's some, was it from Russia? It's some fictional place in Europe. Yeah, and she was the daughter of some diplomat or something, right? And she obviously, she was the daughter of some diplomat, and she was really handsy with Archer, putting him in these really precarious, precarious positions, but, uh, so last episode, what exactly happened? I'm trying to remember. Remember, Mallory and Archer walked in on Lana and Cyril going at it. Oh, I can't believe, yeah, I can't believe. And they... we were all like, what? So, Archer got a little jealous. Katya ends up giving him a random phone call. And ends up going through this elaborate plot to frame Barry for cheating on Katya, which he actually didn't do. He's been stuck up in space for, <laughs> for, yeah, yeah. for a while. Yeah. He had like a beard and stuff. He's all disheveled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it ends with Katya taking over as head of the KGB. Yeah. Is she going to be antagonistic to Archer and Isis? I don't know. All right, guys. Before we jump in, if you want to support us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. What about? <gasps> oh, we got merch. Man. Get up. Get up. Get up. Guys, before we jump in, make sure you check us out on Patreon. We have full-length uncut reactions. We also have four weeks early access. Let's go. Rat Patrol. God, that was killing me. Those hats. So yeah, these exact same things, England. only with 50 cal machine guns on the back. How did you never see that show? I was probably here digging this goddamn Jeep out of this goddamn sand. Hey, don't yell at me. I'm not the idiot who got us stuck. You were driving. You oh were yeah, Krieger like gave him gave them robotic I'm legs, right? Patrol. I think one guy's backstory was that he'd been like a bootlegger, but Kentucky's not all sand dunes. So. Can you at least get out of the jeep? Yes. Uh, hang on. <laughs> but only because taking a dump on Turkmenistan is on my bucket list. A true citizen of the world, right? <laughs> I mean, shut up. Okay, I guess this will happen. His hats are so warm. Not Why is he wearing it in the desert? I'm not the idiot who didn't. I mean, I also didn't think to bring toilet paper, but I'm not, you know, an idiot. God damn it! Yeah. I doubt it's still there. The Sticky-fingered yeah. people, the Greeks. Well, you're not using the map. Okay, Jesus. You have no, to use sand. No, no, no. Well, it's this or the map, so. Great. We'll just tell him his money's out in the desert, covered with shit. There's ninety-five <laughs> grand in the bag, and if what's his name, Norbagoon Gorbanguli. Really? Yes, really. And you can have a hundred. What? Come on, I need at least a thousand. <laughs> Three hundred. Oh, for eight hundred. Five. Seven. Seven. And you dig out the Jeep. Then I take the map. No, we just went over to the... read. Now come on, hurry up. Dukes, it's gonna be dark soon. Dukes. 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 I don't Dukes. know. I need to look at them. God damn it, Archer! What? I said I needed a thousand. So hey, so yeah, did you say light brown or darker whatever old bands? Ventral bands on his pale look at him. Yeah. Why? Just curious. Oh my gosh, That's snake bite. Not good. Like right where he. Oh goodness. No. Oh. Better suck out that wound, Malachi. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I saw it. Yeah, you gotta do. I think the poison out. It's Wait. not recommended they do that really nowadays, but it has worked in antiquity. So while that works, it gets, it gets in your mouth. It yeah, gets... you're supposed to spit it out and stuff, but it's it's not recommended. Something you should do. Remember when I got stung by jellyfish? It was the worst thing I ever felt. It was the worst because I was out there. It stuck on my leg. I had to grab it and pull it through it down. 
That's disgusting. You had to pick it up? Yeah, it was on my leg. I couldn't get it. Write that down to talk about it afterwards. Meaning what exactly? Meaning odd or strange? First of all, Turkmenistan is or how about just sexist and stupid? Enough! This it's not even 830. <laughs> Drinking. Let me get settled before you clop in here in one of your jealous snits. One of my... Wait, whoa, She's beautifully clop? Drew. Yes, Lana, clop. Seriously, I bet your downstairs neighbors hate you. For your information, the Flatos are always incredibly polite to me. <laughs> okay. Whereas this one, almost impossibly light on her feet. That's how awful setting really is. Jackie Gleason dance. So is that a compliment or I don't see how it possibly could be. Nor do I see how you could <laughs> Impossibly light on her feet, you get it? Overt mission in Turkmenistan. Why? Because I'm black or because I'm a woman? Pick one. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to sound racist, but, but you're gonna power through it. Not about you, about Turkmenistan. Lana, this is a Central Asian, male-dominated, xenophobic puppet state whose dictator changed the words for bread and Friday to his dog's name. And all that crazy is sitting on top of an <coughs> ocean of oil and natural gas. Wait, so now we're paying people to blow up oil pipelines? See? She hates that. the reason I didn't yep. send you. What? I want it officially on record that I am strongly opposed to this mission. Ah, <laughs> uh, can I at least put something in the newsletter? What? You're not still doing that. No? She looks yeah. drawn differently there. No. Just pretend I'm who's your go to movie star, you know, for Lauren Green. Bonanza or Battlestar? Duh. So I come to the Ponderosa looking for ranch work, but my chaps get torn. And Hop Singh's just, you know. Uh, Ray, <coughs> kind of a factor here, so. I am not. He just flexes. Ever sucking your tank. Cyril? Better chapstick it up, buddy. Well, first of all, not only does sucking out the venom not help the snake bite victim, it can also envenom the paint sucker. That's you. Let's go. Okay. Yes. And second of all, the venom's not there anymore. It's pumping through your veins to your heart and brain. <laughs> Wait. Is my dick gonna be okay? Well, the danger there are cytotoxins, which can cause severe necrosis. Ne so my dick's gonna fall off? Maybe. <laughs> but the bigger danger is the neuro and cardiotoxins, which can cause respiratory failure, cardiac arrest. <laughs> 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 so the most important thing is for you to stay calm. That's good, right? My body's throwing up the poison? Yeah, it might be, if you had drunk it. Oh, Jesus H. Thirst. Speaking of, Ray, back pocket down there, flask. What? No! Cyril, it's already full of cobra venom. Now's not the time for any more chemical changes to my blood. Fair point. <sighs> Here, baby. It's half empty. Well, that's still way more than you Just should shut be. up and... <clears throat> oh, I hate that hey. sound. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm not doing super great here. Well, I could use some help. I would, but I, I can't feel my hands. I meant Ray, who's just standing there. Ray? God damn it, Ray. I forgot. How do you forget you have bionic legs? I, you know, are you constantly aware you have regular leg bones? No. Just pick up the goddamn Jeep. He said, suddenly all pro-bionic. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Go hurt! No! <laughs> no! Ray? What is that? What are you doing? My back. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I you're still. And you lifted with your back? <laughs> Zero. My guns yeah, do like your deadlift thing. To use as a signal? Yeah, maybe. If there's any bullets left after I murder both of you. Wh why me? It's number two on my bucket list. <laughs> okay, what's number one? Krieger! Yep, 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 yep. Whatever unspeakable thing you're doing back there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that. Yes, I do. Come on, I need you in the control room. Keep trying to reach them on the sat phone, and if that doesn't work, try to get satellite photos on the next pass. And not a word of this to anyone, especially... Lana! I thought I heard self-righteous clomping. Can I have <laughs> Just gonna ask you that. No, we're fine. So, the mission. Going as planned? Yes, as a matter of fact, they just this minute checked in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> ever heard such a superior know-it-all tone <laughs> yeah. you're serious yes <laughs> no. Cyril, i can't move aren't you oh, oh well oh, very oh, nearly oh. dead look how pale he is calling yeah. for an extraction <laughs> look, just because lana makes you feel insecure in your masculinity Basket, look who's talking oh, when i was 10 years old i killed a bear uh -uh. daddy made me take a big old bite out of its heart <laughs> oh my god that is <laughs> Horrible. Shit, I was bawling my eyes out. <laughs> he just kept slapping me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather
rather die than sit through another one of Lana's big I told you so's. You seem to be feeling better. Hang on. KV Crockett. KV Crockett. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm dying. So since you're too pussy to call for an extraction. I'm digging. Wait, hang on, because unless I'm hallucinating, there's a land cruiser over there flipping his high beams at us. You're, you're hallucinating. hallucinating. Oh. That's not actually good news, is it? No. No, it is not. <laughs> Look at his little mustache. That's his number one fear. <laughs> and I'm sorry, James Basin, but he, he just won't stop tuning that darn tutor. Mr. Archer, I'm afraid I must ask you to cease your insufferable tooting. What was going on here? Oh, no, not hell, Mr. Hey, Archer. Hey. This is... Hey, cut rate James Mason. I got kicked out of Episcopal prep school twice. So if there is a heaven... Oh, I'm sorry. More is this heaven. Well, no, obviously it's not heaven. No, it's... Because a... Janice Joplin's not giving me a rim job. Sorry, a uh, cobra bit my taint. Yes. I'm on myself. Aren't you? <laughs> All right. Would you like to know who Sterling Archer really is? No. Why not? <laughs> Why won't you guys stand up to Mallory with me about blowing up the pipeline? <laughs> If you really cared, you'd resign, but there's no way you ever will, because you're just counting the days until her face bloated and yellow from liver failure, she called you to her deathbed, and in a croaky whisper explains that Mr. Archer is totally incompetent and that you, the long-suffering Lana Kane, are the only one qualified to run ISIS and you weep shameful tears because you know this terrible place is the only true love you will ever know. Jesus. Jeez. Oh my God, was I talking? Jeez, a oh man, dude. James Mason, why are we in Baltimore? I thought you might like some insight into how you became the man you are. No, I would absolutely not like that. Sterling some... Archer, age 18. Oh, the most go. recruited prep school lacrosse player in America. Visiting Baltimore for the weekend. Woo! Yeah, so we don't need to see how... Just stop on the train ride from New York. <coughs> you struck out the Major League home run champion. Woo! <laughs> well, obviously, I was awesome, but I... Drew the attention of a beautiful woman named Ruth Ann Litzenberger. Seriously. <laughs> Wait, how did you know I was staying? What's going on here? Sterling, he looks you younger. the best there ever was in the game. Cool. Uh... No! Duh. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if you're deaf or just an asshole or both, but I'm pretty sure I said I didn't want to see this. But Sterling, do you not see how the actions of a deeply disturbed woman have profoundly influenced your life? Well, obviously. I mean, oh, you mean my lacrosse career ending because a crazy stalker gut shot me? Do I? I don't know, James Mason, do you? Do you hear that playing charge? Yeah, lacrosse. I'm doing the best I can. Hey, they got it going. Yeah. Just kill yourself. <laughs> be terrible. Are you bouncing on purpose? No. I'm trying to get Aldrich or whatever passes for a doctor around here before it's too late. Maybe if you shut up, I can concentrate on the... <laughs> what the shit was that? Uh, Camel. Drive around it. I, uh, don't think that's an option. Hey, check it out, friend Barney. We're at the Water Buffalo Lodge. Any word to Sterling? Yep, 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 yep. Well, what do you say? <laughs> What's he doing with the cake? Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> nope, nope, nope. No, I'm sure they're fine. No, I had to write a wedding. Seriously, I get y'all are upset, but I think I have a picture. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now, just a darn minute. We are American, so... Wait, and I call it in. I beg your pardon? Yeah, you should. And I'm out of here. I'm afraid that isn't possible. Goodbye, James Mason. No, you... Mr. Archer, wait! I don't know who James Please Mason here. is. Here's $4,300. Yeah, yeah. Surely that's enough for what I now suspect was a blind camel. Ah, uh, back sheesh. Uh, back sheesh. Back sheesh. Back sheesh. Back sheesh, exactly. <laughs> but our friend... Okay, snake is, uh... Oh, okay. So our friend was bitten by a snake is, uh... Ozum Jora? Bishlemek Gurp Gurp? What? No, 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 no. I mean, yuck, yuck. No, no. Mr. Archer, please. <laughs> you yuck, please yuck. cut Ray James Mason and then shut up because I'm going Oh, God damn it. Or we gotta see his mom using him. Ah, Gushmek Eshek Gurpgor. What? No. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, you can. Yeah. How's it the same word for bread and snake and Friday and that damn dog? How the hell should I know? Because you have an entire satellite array at your disposal. You they always do that. Like they always yeah, have like the cut off. Any of this <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Just so you know, I do know what true love is. So, what in God's name was that about? <laughs> Come on, what the hell is this? I thought you'd like to see something. I've seen poverty. I've been to... Oh, how's it going in Turkmenistan? Mm, not great. <laughs> it's like tele... telestrations or whatever, that game. Darker ventral bands, obviously. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you? Give me that! Oh, it's gonna be beautiful, isn't it? Here! Ta-da, snake! Oh, that's crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But what's the point? Come on, this is stupid. I don't need to see this. I remember all of it. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, oh, no. that's me. I'm like six. It's my birthday. And your mother isn't home, is she? No, she had to... Look, Guatemala's democratically elected government wasn't going to overthrow itself. The man Gokok! The man Gokok Ekmek! I don't think he can keep bread down. No, 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 I think it's... Uh, I, I think it's anti-venom! Give me! Yuck, yuck, cup, 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 backsheesh. Uh, okay, uh... Oh, he wants a lot, lot, lot of money. So? But that's for the mission, to blow up a frickin' oil pipeline? Cyril, what did you think she meant by hinder construction? Do you ever think maybe we're kinda not always, 100% of the time, doing the right thing? Do you ever shut up and give that man bear 25 grand so you and I can split the other 70? Yeah. Nice. Hello, Sterling. I hope you like alligators. I do. I did. Thank you, mister. I'm your real father. <gasps> Archer? Buck Henry? Oh my god, Cyril. Look at him your father. Cyril, shut your dick hole. Is that adrenaline? I know who my real father was. Well, who was he? He was... Oh, god. Now it's gone. God damn it. Jeez, man <laughs> guys that was a reaction this is our discussion that was a hell of an episode one of my favorites uh -huh. that was literally one of my favorite ones it was funny and i like the situation where they're stranded yeah malcolm what'd you think bud it was one of my favorites uh it was like we found out who his dad is well, we didn't find out we didn't find he out. out he found out but we got a little more information to where maybe he had a memory uh that he suppressed he obviously suppressed the fact that he one time liked alligators yeah and it makes you wonder when he says you know mallory doesn't know him here so i just wonder what that kind of relationship was like that led up to well, that. it didn't sound like I almost said Gorbachev. It, it didn't sound like a jack off from the cage. Sounded American, like yeah, he sounded. He didn't have a strong accent really that I could identify, other than he sounded American. Do you guys notice that Pam had a bear claw in the beginning? Yeah, I love that they're always doing something with their character. Right, and she was not. She was grinding sausages too. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's one of the reasons I was laughing so hard there randomly. I started thinking about you pointed it out, but Krieger's just like sitting there putting icing on this little miniature cake. Yeah, like, no. I know. <laughs> They're always doing these great things with the characters to flesh them out, and it's not in your face. It's like if you pay attention, they give you little details that just make them more whole and, and they're usually funny right like what what is that little cake for what's he doing does he just like making little is that one of the hobbies <laughs> and if and if that is a hobby of a guy like that it just says something about him what i notice in like when we're studying like the archer wikipedias and stuff prior to the shows a lot of times folks will go through and just kind of get some more lore on the show and everything from previous episodes not, not correct yeah yeah <laughs> correct and what we find is a lot of times they will put like little Easter eggs and stuff in some of these episodes yeah. that are meant to just be, you know, kind of quirky little funny things. One of the things that I really liked about this episode was, you know, when Archer's kind of in his little delirious state, maybe almost sort of passing over yeah. because of the venom, it almost does like a Christmas Carol type setting where it has flashbacks and he's viewing himself in yeah. his life and you get more of a backstory of him he was a you know renowned lacrosse player he was actually going for a scholarship at a really yeah we knew he was good at lacrosse i didn't know anything about the scholarship but he really was a prominent school so is that just some crazy fan that yeah okay. the way he was talking was it was like some crazy stalker ex who just went nuts and shot him and then killed herself yeah that's a great detail about his life that i didn't know that he was that good that he could have played you know where was he supposed to go john, again john hopkins john yeah john Johnny Hopkins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, I forgot about Ray and the bionic legs. 
but hey, he was the way he was lifting that car. I was thinking, I think you're putting a little too much of your back, and you're not, you know, when you when you flatten your back, like when you deadlift and you do it properly, it kind of takes the danger out of it. Now, if you if you do it like that, when the vertebrae are like that instead of like this, you know, that's when they jut out and you can slip a disc. And yeah, obviously, I'm thinking like even if you have bionic legs and you're still trying to lift a car, the I'm just thinking you would still be limited on what you can lift with. It's just your legs, right? Yeah, like you're you're limited by your grip. You're limited by how whatever's in the upper chain and uh, of the body i don't think you could still tear your shoulders and whatever like, what else, i'm thinking right? is it, the, the best thing he can do is just try to do a little squat deadlift to where i think he try to stay obviously keep the arm straight you know and then hold it away where like the limiting factor would just be your grip if you're doing it that way you know what i mean right i mean we lifted the car that one time in high school <laughs> Yeah, we did. That was that was not smart. Ray killed a bear is my favorite backstory. <laughs> His dad made him eat part of the heart. Yeah, <laughs> I was bawling my eyes out. He just kept, kept slapping, slapping me. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I think that's funny. Lana, I feel. I get it. She feels like she's being put on the sidelines, but I also get it that due to her sex, due to her race, and where they were going culturally, she just was not a good fit for the mission. Yeah, right? because you can't it, compromise the mission just to have a black female there. Well, just uh, to, to, to to fit some I can't remember what it's called some dumbass social quota. I can't remember what it's called DEI or whatever like that. What they're doing now and the CIA. I mean, the government ag agencies know this. If you watch my guy CIA extraordinaire Andrew Bustamani now he is just a businessman and he trains people he gives them skills for business and he talks about his skills all the time on his podcast but yeah there are certain places you can't go they have people who are trained or people who speak the language better but you know I didn't have a problem with that you know and, and honestly a lot of smart so she should know that so because right. yeah, you're risking her life too correct okay Malachi by the way you did say something in a reaction about a jellyfish story yeah I want to hear this so <sighs> okay so we went to Myrtle Beach last summer yeah right, I think well two summers two ago. summers yeah yeah we could have um, so they have these flags up to identify different washes like there's gonna be like a uh, maybe a slight hurricane chance slight jellyfish chance that happens because you know the the waves wash them all up on shore. So yeah. I went through very deep. I was like right here. And all I felt, this stinging feeling on my leg. I'm like, ah. I'm running towards the shore. It's going so slow because I'm in the water. I pull it off, throw it behind me. Comes back on, latches on. So we're... <laughs> It was the worst thing I ever felt. And then... That freaked me out, feeling that thing. So yeah. you had to grab it and yes. rip it off of you? Yes. I threw what, it behind me. Stupid question, but like, what did it feel like? Did it actually just feel like jello? Like, yes. squishy? Mm-hmm. That, that is, little stress ball. Is, that kind of freaks me out. That freaks I me out. I threw it and latched back on. And then I got out of the sword and it was gone. <laughs> And then we went, we went back the next day. And I didn't even, we didn't even know about the purple flags yet. I went back the next day. Got stung again on the, on the other <laughs> leg. Yeah. And the Vangelin got stung. She ran out of the water screaming bloody murder. Everyone was like, oh my God. Did it like hurt like bad hurt? It was like, I felt it the rest of the day, but it wasn't like an agonizing feeling. But it was like a, ow. Well, you, know, you get those man when you, touch, when you touch a, like a sh electric shock, like when you're going down because of friction, when you touch something and you feel that shock, it felt like that, but the entire time and the rest of the day. Forget that, man. Evangeline got stung, and I think, yeah, I mean, obviously she's a little girl, but it, it, she was screaming bloody murder. That's yeah. the worst. <laughs> yeah, never been stung by jellyfish. I've been in the ocean a lot, and I was there in the water as well with him. You know, I was deep. I was all the way down Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> you threw it and it lashed back on. Yes. <laughs> Well, it could have been a different one, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could have, but like, I don't you know. You think he threw it and it went, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. There was an incident where they talked about phrasing again, so that they're mm -hmm. bringing the phrasing thing. And they... What's phrasing? Phrasing is the running gag to where every time someone says something that could be like it reinterpreted as like something sexual oh. or some, or like it's what's called an innuendo, which has a double meaning, Archer or someone else would go phrasing. Which like make sure you're careful of the phrasing in which you use that. Right? Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, I could talk about this a lot. Oh, yeah, there's also the environmentalist stuff, uh, which is another reason they don't want Lana going. If we remember right. Lana before, she was a environmentalist. Uh, she was an extremist like her boyfriend was, but she had like an afro and she was protesting and that's how she was discovered by Mallory. Yeah, and no, that was mentioned Which is another too, one of my favorite episodes. Are you referring to the one where they're in like in the bayou with all the alligators and stuff? And yeah. There's that, yeah, I yeah. remember that. That was a good one. Archer, they're still being held i think i think they're being held captive by these guys somewhere in Turkmenistan. Manist yeah which i, I know, it sounds like somewhere in the middle east i don't know uh anyways i think that's all i got though yep yeah guys fun episode check us out on patreon if not we'll see you next week